Welcome to the beautiful interior of our model home tour for today. Actually, you know what? We're not inside, we're outside. This home is spectacular. The outdoor space is incredible. Stay tuned. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and I am so excited. This floor plan that we are going to see is like no other. The design here in this Taylor Morrison Santini floor plan here at Esplanade at Highland Ranch, which is a 55 plus community here in Claremont, Florida is spectacular. It is different in design and feel and just interior design. Every aspect of it is different and big and beautiful, bold. It has some creative touches and man, oh man, I can't wait to share it with you. But before we even go in, look what they've done here in your entryway here. With El Dorado Stone, I want to make sure I give them proper credit, El Dorado Stone's modern collection. There are two different types of stones here that they've used here at this front entryway. And when you combine those different types of stones, you really create a unique kind of an age timeless type of um, just kind of an aesthetic here on the front. Take a look at the entryway. Instead of our pavers that we typically have, we've got some wood planks. And then instead of mulch to either side, we've got these great smoothie rocks. This home, wow, this home is amazing. Take a look. Just take it all in. Take a moment and take a look at how amazing this home is. Very modern and it has probably the most incredible outdoor space that I've ever seen in a 55 plus community for an actual individual home. All right, so here at the beginning of the Santini floor plan, you have this great entryway. Your great foyer or your foyer, again, a beautiful architectural design, interior design, every aspect of it is absolutely stellar. So beautiful. But the main basic components of the home is that it's a two bedroom, two and a half bath home, two car front load garage, has an office slash study slash flex room, and just some really incredible features. So let's come over here and take a look because what I like about this is right here, you've got this great closet space, okay? Remember it's a model home, so they've got all sorts of things kind of, um, they've got the extra cabinets in there. I don't want to pull too hard, but there you go. Nice big um, shelving and cabinets in there. But what's really nice is right here. Right here you've got a privacy door because you have a bedroom over here with a bathroom. So what's nice is that you can leave this door open and you have an extra bathroom that's a full bath, by the way, has a big, beautiful shower. And you've also got the bedroom here. So depending on who and how you are using this home and who's living in it, um, think about that when you think about the rooms, the spaces, the layout, and how this room and this, this home can actually function for you. So bedroom right here at the front of the home has a nice big closet. Again, private bathroom over here. And all of this is kind of connected by this other privacy door that kind of gives this little space over here kind of like its own wing. So as we continue into the main part of the home, we've kind of finished the entryway. Over to my right, to your left, you have a powder bath. Please take a look at this. Look at the lighting fixture. Look at the design, the, the sink, every aspect. The ceiling is painted. There's wallpaper. Everything is just so incredibly well done. And again, th that's intentional with the design of this home. They're, they're doing that on purpose with this modern feel and it is just so tech savvy. I love it. So right over here, these incredible doors give you a great like artistic art piece here when they're closed. But when you open them, they smooth right the slide smoothly right to the side they kind of create more artwork on the side like barn doors but then you've got this space here so again depending on who's going to be here in this home living in this space you know I've got a lot of people who um, they like to have art studios or music studios within their home you know that was their life's passion and purpose and just because they're retiring or already retired doesn't mean that they put that part of their life away maybe they're avid readers or avid writers and that's something that this space here is going to allow you the opportunity to kind to have your own little space have it open and beautiful as a statement piece but then if you need that privacy you can shut those doors take a look at this okay again just so creative and how they've just kind of added some great unique features to this home so with these glass doors here you've got this great like a little wine closet it's beautiful you've got cabinets up above a little um a little uh, counter here more cabinets below and of course the wine racks on either side 
And again, you've got like that floating shelf look or the floating cabinet look, and you've got all the rocks underneath and the extra lighting. It's just truly spectacular. This, this home is just one we just, you just kind of have to come in and see. All right, here we are in the main hub of the home. Big, beautiful family room area, open to the kitchen, open to the dining area, open and connected, mixing and mingling, entertaining, and this is just a dream come true. This entire cabinet here, it's almost like it's like the, um, like the bench all the way across the length of the room, and then you've got the storage that's underneath of it. Again, very smartly designed so that if you have extra things, you have that storage. It's sleek and it's just cut away. Here's another thing that I really like, and I'm not going to close them because I think they have them locked in a position and I'm not going to mess with them but these actually slide much like the barn door and if it slides over then you have that wood slat piece of art kind of covering up the TV that nuisance that technology you know where we have to you know kind of get mind lost into the TV every once in a while we'll just shut it off and we'll create a piece of art okay over here is the kitchen so take a look at this so first of all isn't this an interesting and a unique and a really awesome kitchen design? The lighting fixtures, by the way, you can't miss them because they are big and beautiful and they make a statement piece of their own. So this is one of the trends that I'm seeing in these model homes, the designers, and I think it is spectacular. You know, we used to have like a dainty little pendant light with a tiny little globe. No more. This is a statement piece. This is something that you can absolutely make your home say, hello, look at me. Nice big island here. And I want to point out that this is actually a waterfall island. So if you're not sure what that, well, actually it isn't on that side, but it is on this one. So come over here. So I'm actually, you know, it's the first time I've ever seen a half a waterfall. So this comes here and this, the, the counter goes all the way down seamlessly. It's very beautiful. It's a great aesthetic, by the way. It's really pretty. You have all of the cabinets and counters here. You'll notice that these cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. So they've added that extra, that extra row of cabinets over there. You've got this incredible wall over here. Great space, great gourmet kitchen. Look at all, if you are just, if you love to cook, this is your dream. Look at this. There's just so many amazing things here in this kitchen that you are going to love. You've got all of your refrigerators down here, more, more refrigerators, more wine. Absolutely spectacular. We have an eating area over here, and this is part your, you know, kind of your informal, because there's not really a formal dining room here in this home. But there's another whole section that we can't forget, and it's back over here. So let's go back this way, and we'll loop our way around to that waterfall that you hear trickling back there. All right, so typically you would have a pantry that has a door, right? That's where you would go right here. Not in this home. This is just incredible. So essentially we're in like a walk-in pantry slash drop zone slash laundry room slash everything really cool zone so you come in here through the garage garage is back behind me right here you're going to have a cabinet area counter drop zone area okay so this is typically what you would have totally normal great spectacular wonderful usable makes it function for you then we have this crazy awesome extension of your kitchen you've got another sink look they've got like a little cappuccino or espresso kind of machine i don't drink those coffees so i don't know what it's called so don't laugh at me but you've got your fancy space over here all of these cabinets here for the pantry aspect of it absolutely beautiful and it keeps going because over here they've created this which is one of my favorite things I've always wanted one of these where you have the door at the bottom and then you've got your glass pane here at the top and I think that's spectacular because perhaps in this home they might have a fur baby because they sure have taken special consideration to make sure that the fur baby has their spot in the design of this home. Really spectacular, Dr. Adam Christman. There's your shout out. All right, so here we are in the laundry room. Again, big and beautiful, lots of space, washer, dryer, cabinet counter, mirror, no mirrors, we're not in the bathroom, cabinets and counters and storage. But what's really cute over here is take a look at this. Over here, they've created this cabinet and look, what they did is they this is where they're gonna hang like mops and brooms and feather dusters and things so instead of just having those propped up in the corner where you can't really hide them they found a place to hide them all right this actually then connects into your master closet so the master bedroom is at the back of the home that's the kitchen over on that side and over here is your closet so I guess we're gonna do this one a little bit backwards but take a look at this master closet it's wonderful not only is it wonderful but they've added and I guess the cameraman probably can't get it but you know like when you're in the, um, the dressing room and you have kind of that that mirror that goes around so you can see yourself from all sides don't really want to see myself from all sides right now but if I did that would be the right mirror for it 
So over here is the master bathroom and it is beautiful. Remember, laundry room connected to the closet, connecting to the master bathroom. So again, take a look, oh, I love it. So what they've done here, so you've got your, your sink here and you've got your cabinetry, but they've got this tile work that goes all the way up. They've added the sconce light lighting fixtures instead of your more traditional like vanity lights up above your sink and then look at this design idea instead of having the more horizontal mirror they've got these um these vertical mirrors that go from the base of the counter all the way up to the ceiling and they have them in three sections I, my mind is blown right now with how amazing this is great shower over here now i want you to notice in this particular shower it does not step down it just ramps down because this again is your new high-end super cool tech savvy shower system in here absolutely amazing really beautiful i'm loving just as a design um i love the color scheme i think it's beautiful so take a look at your powder bath or your your master bathroom your water closet basically your toilet your private room that's a great space as well and then here we are in the actual master bedroom itself again we kind of came in a bit backwards but here is the master bedroom big huge amazing bay window back here along the back side creating an additional seating area or a little sitting area big and beautiful love the design in here love the tray ceiling love the additional can lights that they've done up there really beautiful so here we are back around do you see where we are so there's the kitchen right we went back that way because that's where the pantry was and then we walked through the laundry room with the cute little doggy then we walked through the master closet through the master bathroom into the master bedroom and we've circled our way right here so the last thing we're going to take a look at here in this home is what they have decided to do with our outdoor living space because while this home may be 2203 square feet on the inside if you count all of this extra square footage that we have on the outside you're going to be amazed at what you've just added to your home you don't have to sacrifice on your outdoor living space if your lot will accommodate it you can create this oasis that they have right here that's every bit the size pool that anybody would need to jump in and cool off you've got outdoor space you've got dining space you've got a hot tub space you've got like pub seating you've got a little gazebo you've got swinging sofas you've got a summer kitchen you've got absolutely anything and everything that you need you've got gorgeous stone look at the stone back there behind that summer kitchen spectacular you've got this the, the flooring up on the ceiling and the ceiling fans and you've got the fireplace and you know what you've got you've got a home my friends that i absolutely adore this is one of my absolute favorites all right guys thank you so much for watching if you are interested in this home or any of the other floor plans that they have here at esplanade at highland ranch please give me a call 407-848-8042. Forgot my own phone number. 407-848-8042. Remember, I do not represent Taylor Morrison. I do not represent the builder in any way, shape, or form. But I am a realtor here that's working incredibly hard trying to help you wherever you are in the country as you sit there probably bundled up or maybe you're just tired of the taxes where you live and you just want to find a new place and come join us here in the Sunshine State. Hopefully these videos are helping you. But you know what? The videos are just the start of how I can help you. So please give me a call. 407-848-8042. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if, excuse me, if you haven't already. If you have, then thank you for doing so. I talk a lot. I've already gone hoarse. Um, but seriously, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please give me a call, and I really look forward to helping you find the perfect home. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Happy house hunting.